first question is for the challenger. First of all, Mukesh, congratulations on the victory today. I guess the simplest question to ask is, how does it feel to actually win a game in your first world championship? Yeah, uh, it, it feels great. Um, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with, uh, I mean, also the last two days I was happy with my play. Today was, uh, was even better. Um, I, I feel good at the board and uh, yeah, today I just managed to outplay my opponent, which is always very nice. And this is Mike Klein with Chess.com. My question is for Grandmaster Gukesh. Uh, this appears to be the first time since game one of 93 Kasparov short where someone lost on time. And I'm curious, even though your position was objectively always winning, uh, were you having, he described your motions as your opponent was ticking down on time. We could see it on his face, but what was, what was going through your mind as he had, you know, one minute left to make six moves? Um, I, I'm sorry, uh, maybe the previous match, like, didn't he lose on time against Nepal? Uh, it's my, it's my uh, research team's uh, ah, research, okay. so even if that is incorrect, could you tell us about, ah, okay. uh, could you tell us about your, uh, your, your motions uh, when he had so little time to make so many moves. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I was pretty confident at that point. Uh, I mean, I was just thinking about the position at that time because I knew that I should be winning, especially after, like after I got Rook D1, I mean Rook C1, Rook D1, I, I, I thought I should just be winning. So, yeah, I wasn't really playing for time. I, I just wanted to, uh, like, uh, I mean, finish it off cleanly. I know you weren't playing for time, but was there an increased heart rate or anything going on inside you as your opponent got so low? Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, it's always like a bit exciting when, when your opponent is so low on time. And also, uh, I mean, when, you're, when you get a winning position, you generally get, get a bit excited. So it was there, but I think I had my emotions under control. Thanks. Shalice uh, asking uh, on behalf of PDA social media from our followers, this time from Bangalore Chess Club. Did having a rest day tomorrow have any effect on today's game approach? Is um, that for both, uh, yeah. both players? Um, Go ahead. Uh, not really. Uh, I, I mean, I, I thought since tomorrow is a rest day, I'll just uh, put all my energy into this game and then then I have, uh, and then I can rest. So, uh, did, it did not make much of a difference, but it was nice that, nice to know that, uh, like after today's game, I can just go and rest. Oh, not really, but the uh, results of the game will maybe influence my emotion during the rest day. Hi, uh, Maria Emilianova on behalf of my viewers, I guess, on my channel. Uh, a bit of a harsh question to Gukesh, but I thought it's the best day to ask it. Do you agree with what Magnus said after game one, that it's hard to understate how bad this was from Gukesh? Uh, not a single good decision, everything was wrong. Do you agree with this, his statement? And do you think you changed? If yes, then do you think something changed after game one? Uh, in game one, you mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, at, after, from some point, I think starting from, I don't know, maybe B4 or Queen E2, like, uh, especially this Knight D4 move, all these moves were pretty bad. But, uh, but I think it's also understandable since it was my first game in the Pearl Championship. I was, I was a bit nervous. It's a new setting for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, like even even for example, Magnus in his first World Championship, he uh, he was not at his best in, at the start. So I think it's a very normal reaction, uh, and I and I was uh, okay with that. I, it was a bad game, but I was generally feeling good. Uh, I thought uh, even though I was nervous, I was able to like not uh, like. Uh, what to say? I, I, it was not too much to handle, so I felt good. It was a bad game, but uh, but yeah, I I always knew that once I settle and I will I will get back my rhythm. Thank you and congratulations on striking back.
Judith, I want to start with a, a very interesting observation that I think a lot of people uh, watching will have noticed as well. Gukesh could be talking about his win today. Gukesh could be talking about his loss. And he could even be responding to that shots fired, possibly illegal in Singapore kind of question that we saw face completely the same throughout. He was so mature, he was so measured, and he gave such a brilliant answer. He's unflappable. Yes, this is seeable for for whatever interview he gave, not only now, but in previous occasions as well, that he's so stable mentally that uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, sometimes he is not that stable, but he, he can give uh, great answers and, and show that he's not going to be unbalanced by all these questions because he's so focused, he's so determined that he knows exactly why he came to Singapore. And if you are, uh, if you're in the opposing camp right now, Robert, we did get a bit more emotion from Ding. He settled down by the time the press conference was had. We're not even sure 100% what he's thinking about right now. There are no plans for the rest day. We'll play it by ear. Let's just get back to the hotel and reset. Talk to us about his mental state and how we can best use the rest day to um, put himself in a good position. Because he's done it before. He certainly has, and he can do it again. And I think the issue is that there are emotions. He just lost a game three, he had a lead in the match. But if we could try to be objective here, he has played two games with the black pieces, only one game with white. Before the match began, if you said, ding, heading into the uh, first rest day, you'll have one and a half out of three. Uh, you, maybe you drew your first three games. He would say, I'll take that because I have more whites pieces in the remaining games. The problem is he just lost and we just saw him there uh, on the stage being quite disheartened. He seemed uh, quite sad for him and his team. They would hope to use the rest day to recover, but objectively speaking, one and a half points out of three when you play two black games and only one white, that is a good result for Ding Li Ren. So I just want to state that clearly. I, of course, note that emotions do play a role. We'll see how this loss impacts him. But on paper, at the very least, Ding Li Ren is doing quite well. That's a fantastic point, Robert. I mean, at the end of the day, like you say, one and a half out of three where you've had two blacks is still fine. We just maybe weight most recent results more heavily in our mind. Uh, a little bit of a psychological imbalance there. But strictly speaking, it is very much all to play for objectively.